It's only the dreamers that, that really make huge, significant, beautiful change in the world that shake, shake up things. That's it. Mm. That's it. We're shaped again by the opinions of others. Don't want to look a fool, don't want to be too silly and childish, when that's actually great medicine to be like that. It's about the opinions of others and just realising we actually are allowed to be that just because someone says we're this and this and this and this doesn't mean we're any of that. Mm -hmm. You know, something I used to cop as a kid. You, you're a dreamer, you'll never amount to anything. You've got to be a dreamer. Yeah. You have to dare to dream. So many people live what their parents want them to do, or their friends, or society, or society right? Society, yeah. Most people, they wake up at like 27 to 30, and they realize I'm down a path that I don't want to do. Yes. They have like a quarter life crisis or something, and they're like, what do I really want to do? What did I want to do as a child? Or what? wake up at 50 or 60 and say that. It happens a lot. We need to actually turn off from work sometimes and say, okay, well, now I'm going to spend time with relationships, with friends, with family, with right. nature. And the more we can find space or create space for those other areas, the more heart we bring to our work anyway, mm -hmm. and the more efficiency we bring to our work. Friends become your family in so many ways and they hold a lot of memories for you as well. A lot of the fun memories that you may not necessarily have shared with your family. I mean, some, right. some families are entwined and their brothers and sisters are their best mates, but most of us have choose our own family of friends. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, friends can really bring home memories and do reminiscing because... Nostalgia and, yeah, reflection. Dying people want to live <coughs> as long as they can and they want to reflect and they want to do some storytelling and some giggling and some, you know, reminiscing about the good old days. When you use death as a tool for living and you say, I'm on limited time, you do find that courage because not only do you realise you've got to say this stuff or you're going to regret it later or you're going to leave it too late, you also just end up not caring so much what people think of you. And it doesn't mean you, you don't stop loving, but you stop caring about all the superficial stuff. And so if, if you're expressing some really deep vulnerability, it may or may not be received how you'd love it to be received, but it's better than not saying it. <laughs>